Hey guys, so I started this video a little late because today is Tuesday. I'm doing, so I'm trying to do the weekdays of what I eat for dinner during the week. So we're gonna start on Tuesday this week. So for dinner today, I'm not cooking. I'm going out for dinner, me and my daughter, because today's been a lot. So yeah, we're not cooking. So I'm gonna fix myself, fix my hair, my face a little, and we're gonna go to dinner tonight. We're having pho, yummy. Throw on my jacket. All right. We out of here. Let's go eat. Have some dinner. I'll show you guys what I'm eating. So, see you guys at the restaurant. Bye. Alright, guys. So the drink just got here. I have a Thai iced tea. Lila got lemonade. Thank you. Oh, that looks so good. I got the special beef So I got the special beef pho, you guys, and Lila got just regular beef pho that comes with like irong beef and beef brisket. And here I'm just adding the toppings. So I'm adding bean sprouts, jalapeno, and some freshly squeezed lime juice. I'm not sure what the green leafy thing is, but I did add it in there and it tasted pretty good. I also added some hoisin sauce, sriracha, and some chili oil that they had there uh, part of the toppings. And yeah, the pho was really good. The, uh, the broth itself was good. It could have been a little bit more flavorful for my liking and Lila's liking too, but it was good. So tonight for dinner I made some week night so we keep it simple and I'm making ready made mashed potato but we're gonna doctor it up and some meatballs with gravy. Got these from Aldi. So I'm going to be doing these in the air fryer.
let's steam some corn to go with our meal for tonight. I'm just gonna season the corn lightly with salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and warm it up. So I'm just going to open the mashed potatoes and pour it into a bowl. Add the hot water, some heavy cream as well, you know, to enhance it a little bit. You can add some butter as well if you want. And that's basically it. Keep it in nice and simple for the week diet. So I basically followed the package directions here, except for the heavy cream that I added. Making a quick gravy, y'all. So I'm gonna add butter to the skillet. Sliced onion and minced garlic. So I'll take it for two to three minutes. Beef or chicken stock. And just let it simmer until it thickens, y'all. Okay, so once the sauce starts to thicken up, add in the meatballs and just mix it in with the sauce. To cool down. Hey guys, so I got this from Aldi's. And this as well. So let's try it. Hopefully it tastes good. So tonight I'm making some quick and easy beef pho using a cutter stick I have here at home. And I got the noodles and the broth for the pho from Aldi. I'm trying it out. Hopefully it tastes good. So let's go. So I'm adding a few tablespoons of butter into the skillet and also a little bit of oil to cook the steak. And I seasoned my steak with onion powder, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. And I rubbed that all over the steak. I also rubbed the steak with a little bit of olive oil before I added the seasonings. And we're gonna cook it like that. I like my steak cooked about medium well, so that's how I did it. Okay guys, so I'm removing the, the fun noodles from the water so it doesn't get, it doesn't overcook. So once you leave it for, I'm following the package directions and once it cooks for like, once it stays in the boiling water for like three minutes, I'm removing it. <laughs>
I'm just gonna heat up the broth and then we'll put everything together. We're gonna attempt to slice up my steak. Try the mango pineapple for the first time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This is my favorite. This is my, my 
my new favorite. That's a mango pineapple. Oh, it's so good. It's yours. <laughs> no. Why is it so liar? The pineapple is good too, but no. That's my new favorite sauce. From now on. Anyways, okay, let's taste the chicken. Steak on their menu. I've never tried their steak though. 